As you may have noticed, Equalize 2 is very flexible and versatile. In addition to various phase modes, it offers 12 EQ bands, each of which can operate in stereo separately for left and right channels, or in mid or side mode. Moreover, for each of the bands, a choice of 8 possible filter types is available – high and low cuts, high and low shelving, bell, tilt, band pass and notch. We'll also check the rest of the features, but first I want to show you examples of Equalize 2 in specific mixing situations. When processing the profit, I use two low-cut filters, separately for the mid and side signals. This way I didn't thin the instrument, but made it less boomy around the edges. To listen to each filter separately, we can use the corresponding button with the headphone icon, or just right-click on the band we want. Very handy. If we need to adjust the low and high frequencies at the same time, we can use the tilt filter that I chose for the pluck track. With tilt, we can very quickly adjust the balance of frequencies within the instrument. It works especially well on synthesizer tracks, piano and vocals. The notch filter on Equalize 2 is very important for me because it helps with two strong siblings, as for example in the Ebo track. To temporarily disable the band, we can use the corresponding button or simply click on the band while holding down the shift key. It's also very convenient to use the control key to temporarily cut out frequencies, which will allow us to accurately determine the resonance frequency I'm not trying to remove all the resonances, only the sharpest ones, otherwise the instrument may become dull and lifeless, and we definitely do not need this. If you love AP equalizers with their proportional Q factor, it's very easy to have this functionality in Equalize 2 by activating the gain and bandwidth link. Now, the higher the gain value, the narrower the bandwidth, which is a more musical way of adjusting the EQ. In the process of EQing audio recordings, I constantly use a spectrum analyzer to quickly find the frequency bands that need to be adjusted. Of course, all of this can be done only by ear, but thanks to the high quality visual response, not a single frequency problem will slip away, no matter how tired our hearing gets after a long working day. For example, on the fluttering track on the right channel, I was able to find and isolate humming frequencies in the lower mids pretty quickly and achieve a better balance between the left and right channel. Throughout this video, we looked at different ideas for using Equalize 2 functionality during mixing but I left the most important thing for last. We can change the slope of all filter types in the range from 3 to 120 decibels per octave in 0.1 dB steps, and for shelf and cut filters, also adjust the resonance up to 24 dB. We had to try harder. We had to try.
try harder. We had to try harder. This world is all about love. Why do you do it to me? Despite its versatility, Equalize 2 is very easy to use. After working with it for just a few hours, you can realize almost any of your frequency processing ideas for a wide variety of audio recordings. Thanks again and see you in the next video.